<laughs> Who's ready for some girl chat? Are y'all ready for some girl chat? Yes. Well, first off, we want to wish everyone a very happy Memorial Day. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's so yes. much fun. Memorial Day is a federal holiday that remembers and memorializes all the men mm -hmm. and women who died while serving in this country's armed forces. Yes. yes. That's off to you guys. And we here at The Real want to thank all those who have put their lives on the line and continue to do so in order to keep us all safe. Yes. Let's not forget that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And speaking of Memorial Day, did you guys know that it's prime potato salad season Ew. between Memorial Day and Labor Day? Yes. Ew. I love potato salad. You do? Yes. Well, an article titled, Why Black People Care So Much About <laughs> Potato Salad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> says that black people are really fussy about how they like their potato salad because not everyone makes it the same tradition as their grandmother. That's right. Well, they feel some type of way. Seriously. That's right. But, you guys, this is not a black thing. It seems that everybody has a particular way they like the dish. And there are so many ways to mess it up mm -hmm. because it involves various ingredients. Sometimes the potatoes aren't boiled enough. Mm -hmm. I've tried that. Or they're boiled too much. Tried that too. And nowadays, people stray from basic recipes for potato salad and start adding things like kale in the mix. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. Okay, Jeannie. Well, okay, I want to ask. <laughs> it's good well, for you. Are you ladies traditionalists when it comes to certain dishes? Potato salad? Hell yeah! Yes. We want regular oh. potato salad. Not kale. Okay, I have to ask, Lonnie, <laughs> what does your particular potato salad require? It's just basic. Like you know, what? you have to make sure the potatoes are cooked correctly. Okay. I like it cold. I don't like no relish in my potatoes. I just don't like, that's for me. Oh, I no. don't like relish. No, Some you people got... like, people put relish. Oh yeah, like, or if you... you're a little bit fancier, you chop up tiny pickle. Yes, and you put I it in love there. that. I... <gasps> Do y'all add a little mustard in your potato yep. salad? Not a lot, yes. though. But just Some of y'all go overboard. Yo, just I'm a not little. even sure what potato <laughs> salad is, so I'm really lost. I don't. I don't it's really like, eat potato salad like that. You never that. had potatoes, girl. I, 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 the one white guy in the audience is like, yes, exactly. I don't know about potato. I don't. I'm. I don't. It's always. I prefer been... juca. I don't know. I'm not What's like a juca. What's juca? juca? It's like our version of like potato, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, okay. Was it okay. made of potatoes? No, it's it's like a potato. What are potatoes? Potatoes are a starch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, a, but a they're like ground. Veggies, like yes. root, root vegetable. Root vegetable. That's yes. the word I was looking yes. for. Root, root vegetable. Yes. My favorite root vegetable is not a potato. It's a juca. Okay. So, a um, juca. yeah, but I, I, I don't care. Like you guys, you guys know that I'm not big on or picky about my eating, so I don't really care what kind of potato salad you serve me. No, yeah. you see, you don't understand with it's black Clearly. people. Let me tell you something. And we going to them family reunions. Everybody think they got or the, the best potato salad. And really, or the barbecues. Okay, here's my problem though. You said something that was very key to what I think is a good potato salad. Ugh. It's gotta be cold. Yes, and true. And sometimes when you leave potato salad sitting on the picnic table for a long time, yo, you notice even the flies don't ever hit up that <laughs> potato salad. <laughs> Can you just get it at like your local grocery store in the package? No. You better not tell me no. what. Ooh. Wait, Adrian, you better watch oh your mouth God. like that. It has no flavor sometimes. When you buy it at the store, I always find, I gotta add like some paprika, some salt and pepper. I gotta yes. add something in there. Wait, some have Lowry seasoning some salt? Lowry seasoning some Lowry seasoning Some adobo. Okay. <laughs> Not to be an ungrateful receiver, but have you ever had somebody arrive to your barbecue, take out the Ralph's or whatever shopping bag, open it up, put the potato salad in Ooh. there, or peel off the lid? You want to tell them, get the hell out of here. Yep. Get out of here right yep. now. I'll be like, thank you so much. And you can't eat everybody potato salad. No. no. Why? No, no, you, no, you can't. No. You just can't. Aunt Jo, so you like wait, you. hold on. I got to make a public service announcement. OK, OK. okay. <laughs> Okay. I love you, Aunt June, but oh, your no. potato salad, we've been throwing it away for years. <laughs> for years. And Yo. she'll bring two big old things of it. We'll be like, eh. okay, Aunt June, what you know. What don't you like about her potato it's salad? It's just Lonnie? disastrous. It's, it's just. 
<laughs> it messes up the flavor of it. Because the purpose, the purpose of the perfect, perfect, perfect <laughs> potato salad. See, I yes. get emotional. I Acting. see. <laughs> Is that when you mix it with the barbecue chicken or your barbecue yes. ribs, you know, and you you that's a little bit hot and it's tangy, and then you hit yes. that potato salad gotta be just right. Yes. It's gotta yes. be just right. Yep. It's gotta be, it's gotta be creamy to kind of break apart the meat and all the stuff you're eating. Have you ever Why had a potato salad that wasn't <laughs> creamy enough and you almost choked and needed some water? <laughs> you know that kind of. Yeah. A, a, good, a good potato salad is a party in your mouth, I'll tell you that much. That all right. Good. That's They've been going through something with this potato salad, yes. <laughs> well, speaking of rearranging things, there are some new game apps you guys gotta hear about this, aimed at kids Aww. with titles like, ooh, Girls Plastic Surgery, Mermaid Plastic Surgery, and Superstar Face. Oh. And these games actually allow children to carry out eye lifts, nose jobs, lip implants, yeah using plastic surgery simulators. Ugh. Now, according to an article on abcnews.com, there are a growing number of children who are anxious, worried, and super concerned about how they look. And animated characters like Elsa from Frozen project the type of beauty young girls admire and would like to have. It's so sad. So, ladies, no. it's just, somebody <laughs> just scream no. no. Is society her. guilty of forcing the idea of being beautiful on children. And, yes. and was there an aesthetic you had when you were a kid? Yeah. Yes, you're surrounded by the pressure of being beautiful all the time because you grow up with such pretty characters like the Disney shows and, th and things like that. But yo, it's, I, you can't stress enough to kids how much it, it, your childhood lasts just moments. Don't yeah. you feel like you wish you could go back and live back what it was like to feel like a kid where you don't have to worry about anything? Save that moment, you guys. Do not yeah. think about or worry about what you look like because I tr trust me, you get to a certain age where you realize you just fine. Uh -huh. I promise. Yeah. It takes a while, but you get I there. I agree with you. Yes, it takes I a think, while. But well, it's... and we're adults longer than we are children. children. And I think the thing about this game is is that it subconsciously teaches children to magnify the things that they don't like about themselves at a young age. Like you said, please, let's just allow our children to be children. Yeah. Why are we even making well, a game about this? You know, you know, the thing is, is that growing up, I didn't have any, you know, people that actually looked like me. And so you looked at Cinderella, you know, mm -hmm. Snow White. Yeah. They had the itty bitty waist, they had blue eyes, they had yeah. blonde Barbie hair, dolls. you know what I mean? The Barbie dolls, and it's like, so it's not just this game, it's just in general, and that's why we, you know, we try to push diversity. But also, it's diversity in size. And I'm talking about me being a person of a certain physicale. It's like, you have these people, it's about being healthy, don't get me wrong, but it's like, everybody's not gonna have the little Barbie doll size waist. That's so my true. attitude. So I will true. tell you, I actually saw this happen for the first time with my daughter, you guys. She loves Frozen. She loves Cinderella. She loves Tangled. But the moment she saw Moana, if you guys have seen Moana, you know, she's, she's a darker, you know, skin, does, she's Polynesian. Yeah. My daughter, I saw her eyes light up, although she's not Polynesian, but she saw someone just that looked like her yeah. a yeah. little bit. And to see her light up she and be able to, her. she loves she Moana. She thinks she is Moana. She does. She, she does. does. <laughs> she will stand there the whole day looking at it like no, this. No, it's true. And then we play it again. It's like, I love it. You know, yes. because she's great. being encouraged about that. Yes. Yeah. You know? She sees someone that she can emulate. And she's not even two years old yeah. yet. Yeah. Now, That's as a deep. parent, I have to ask you something. I'm not a parent yet, but I have to put a little bit of pressure on parents. And now, let's be honest. If you don't buy or purchase this app for your child, how would they get it? Like, who would allow their child to play with this sort of app? And that's what I'm saying, where parenting comes into play, where yep. it's like, at the end of the day, you have to instill something in your children that makes them recognize that beauty just isn't on the outside. Yeah. I you have to instill something in your children that doesn't make them want to play with a game like this, that doesn't allow them to play with a game like this. If I'm honest, when I was younger, I didn't think I was cute, but guess what? I didn't care. 
And you know what? I, I didn't care because my mom never put emphasis on that. It was, you know, that wasn't what it was about. Yeah. And I think that's why I developed my personality. I recognized, okay, maybe I don't look like that, but I can make people laugh. Maybe I don't do this, but maybe if I sing and dance in front of them, then like I found something that was deeper than just what I looked like. Yeah, right. And Character. I think if we instill that and encourage that in our children, yes. they won't want to play with these stupid apps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but some parents don't care. Yeah. Are you some, know? Here, some parents <laughs> don't know. I, I'll be honest with you, there are some moms yeah. out there, you grab their phones and their kids downloaded a bunch yeah. of apps on their phones because they don't even that's know. what they do. And the mom's like, oh yeah, take it, take it to me because you can keep yourself busy and I got to do what right. I got to do. Yeah. You know how many of my friends that are moms and they don't even know half the apps that those kids download? Mm -hmm. and it's they important don't check to have deep conversations like that. Like true. I think even if, yeah. my, if, if my child's friend had the app and they asked for it, I would sit them down and be like, do you know what this is? Like, I don't think they even understand what they're playing with. So I think it's important that you have those kind of conversations. Like, if I saw my nieces with an app like this, I would, they would never have an app like this. <laughs> yes. But if they even did, I think it would be about a conversation, an open, com an open yes. conversation that explains to them yes. that beauty comes in, there's not one type of beautiful. Nope, that's right. There are all of different course. types of beautiful. And you don't have to become what society decides is beautiful. Yes, of course. Or what yep. an app says yep. is beautiful. Well... Something else young ladies may have to face, an article on MomsNet.com posed the question, should mothers encourage their daughters to marry rich? Ooh. Well, the question was met with dividing opinions. Some moms felt marrying rich should not mean finding a rich man, but rather a partner who is kind and clever with a strong worth ethic. And others thought it was idealistic for women to think that they could be financially independent. So do you girls think it's a bad thing to encourage your daughters or future daughters to marry someone wealthy. Absolutely. No. I think it's a terrible idea. Yeah, I was about to say. I thought you meant, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like, let's, let's do this. No. Wait, I'm no, saying absolutely saying not. not. You should not encourage your daughters to marry rich. I mean, I mean, that might be some of the reason why the number one reason for divorce is financial stress. Of if course. you're marrying the man for the wrong reasons, it's not going to work out. Of course. Now, Okay, we're all mature adults. We all know this. We yeah. all know that true love is not found in dollar bills. Clearly. However, it is really hard for me to find a mom who's going to sit there and tell me she is not going to feel more secure wanting her daughter to I marry well. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. moms, I think it's mom, how you say it. There's a lot of moms agreed. I think you understand you what, what I'm saying, right, ma'am? But I think it's how you say it. Um, because you can marry someone who's rich, but they're poor in character. Do you of see course. what I'm saying? Yes. I think it's important to teach your daughters to marry someone with ambition. Yes, yes. Oh, That's the and support that. And support that. Because that will not only be a rich relationship, there may be, that relationship may bear well, some Well, I financial. think your yes. first marriage, yes. But if ah! not your second marriage, <laughs> you can okay. marry rich. Jill, okay. I don't know, man. I'm just being honest. Coming from an Asian family, of course you believe in finding a good man with all the good exactly. characters and the qualities. But, man, a lot of my people in my country are poor. They want to make sure you got, you marry somebody who's got all something, something. Really? You know True. what I'm saying? True. But you got to do I remember yeah, I, I had a boyfriend, right? He would come and pick me up. And I, obviously I was a teenager, right? But this guy would drive this Datsun, like this old hoopty, and it would come, you could hear it from like down Berryessa Road, come into my house, which is like three blocks away. He'd be like, nang, 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 nang. and it would come pick me up, and every time he picked me up, it would take at least legit eight minutes to leave the driveway, because it was like, <laughs> but these sound effects? Yes, and my mom, I swear, she came out, and one time she opened the car door, the car door broke in her hand, she grabbed my arm, she took me out, and she said, my daughter, she better than this she deserved the Honda. Damn it, son. And I was like... And that's fine. That's right. <laughs> right, Mom. You know what? <laughs> I also think it's, it's, it's about when you're marrying. I think when you're younger, I think the ambition and things like that is good. Yeah. I think you got to look at, like, when are you marrying? Are you in your mid-30s? You that's know, are you in your late 40s? Something like that. Then you really need to look at somebody that maybe has some substantial... I can't be marrying you. I'm 46 years old, and you try to still be a rapper. I can't do that. Okay? Yes. Yeah. As ambitious as he may be, like, that's 
what I'm trying to say. Let's keep it real, man. Let's no, keep it real. No, I am. I'm keeping it real, too. I don't think you need someone to be rich, and I'm also not saying you need to marry someone who has a car that sounds like... <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just saying maybe just focus on the fact that he's stable. There's yes. nothing wrong with marrying can someone. Take good care of if he can take care of himself, if he can take care of, of you, and he can take care of his family. I think if he's got... Him take care yeah. of him, I'll take care of me. That's fine, yeah. too. That works, too.